there, how the heck y'all doing? Uh, I'm going to make a quick video here uh, showing off how to make cold brewed coffee, which is something I really, really like. Um, it's a lot, lot, lot stronger than regular coffee. Most normal people cut this with like uh, milk or cream or water, uh, unless you are hardcore like yours truly, and you drink it straight. Uh, but basically, what you do is I get this brand here, and for every four cups of water, you put one cup of coffee grounds. And I use a giant thing like this, and I put about a cup and a half, because this holds eight cups, so, uh, so it doesn't overflow. And then what you do, you put that in there, and you let it sit overnight, 12 hours minimum, and then you filter it. And what I'll do is I'll set this up, get this going, and then I will film tomorrow the filtering process. And uh, it is like turbocharged coffee. It's just fantastic. And I have to warn you, um, I, I'll drink like four-year-old coffee. I don't care. As long as it has caffeine in it, I'm good to go. So... Uh, you probably, unless you are hardcore, like I said, you probably don't want to drink this straight. You're going to want to use this. Uh, a lot of people put like uh, chocolate syrup and cream and things like that, or if you've got hazelnut, but they cut it with something and flavoring to take the bitterness down a bit, but that's for sissies. So, all right, you'll see me again tomorrow with the other end of this process. Hello there again. All right, here's the continuation of the uh, iced or uh, iced cold brewed coffee. Uh, normally, I let it go 12, 18 hours. I've let it go about a day just because uh, life got busy. Um, so now, what I have left, or what it has turned into, is this kind of weird, muddy stuff. And what I'm going to do is I have a large pot with a colander in it. And I've just got a couple of sheets of uh, paper toweling that I'm going to put in there. And this is like the pre-filter filter. And I'll probably have to change this a couple of times. Uh, but I filter it twice. I run it through this. And then uh, I'll show you the next step, which is I run it through a coffee filter. But uh, I don't know if I'm brave enough to try to do this one-handed. Although, I'm pretty stupid. Right, let's give it a shot. Oh, lordy. This is going to be a mistake. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to make a mess if I do this one-handed. Oh. All right, I'll start filtering it. Then maybe as it's draining because it goes slow, I'll show you that. <laughs> I don't want to have coffee all over my floor. All right, uh, I attempted to pour it with two hands and ended up spilling coffee on the floor. <clears throat> I'm going to have to get the carpet cleaner out. Uh, glad the wife's not home. Uh, but uh, you end up getting a thing draining. This is really hard with this camera. Uh, but anyways, you get a thing that looks kind of like that. Hopefully you can hear me and see me. And you'll have a sludge in the bottom of this, which is all the grounds. I don't waste it. That's good coffee goodness. Uh, so I add a little water to it and swirl it around and pour that through. Uh, trust me, you're not going to be diluting this stuff uh, <laughs> by doing that. So uh, I will slowly let this uh, drip filter here. It's going to take a little while. And then I'll show you the secondary filtering. That... Um, I probably still won't do it by uh, two hands. I wish I had a tripod to show you this, but it's, you know, you've seen people pour stuff into things. So, all right, I'll be back in a bit to show you the next step. All right, uh, the next step is I have my giant pot with a smaller colander with a coffee filter in it. And I'm going to then pour, where the hell is it? You can see my messy sink, that through the filter just to do an extra filtering. Really, you probably don't have to do it. If you go through two or three layers of uh, paper towel, uh, you won't get that much sediment out of it. But it's kind of nice to do it just to refine it a little bit. And uh, I'm not going to pour this uh, on camera either. So, <laughs> so you're just getting a lot of commentary and not a lot of action. But um, <laughs> it sounds like a bad porno. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> anyways, I'll be back. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Alrighty, I've uh, double filtered, I've uh, poured it, uh, spilled a little here and there along the way, but uh, what you end up with is about two liters of the baddest Mama Jamma coffee you've ever had in your life. 
if you like making uh, frou-frou coffee drinks, as I call them, uh, cold-pressed is the way to go. Uh, if you like strong coffee uh, and you don't care if it's hot, uh, it's really nice. Like if you like an iced coffee or something like that, it's uh, really, really good. You can take just this stuff and pour it right over ice. A lot of people will take like half of that, half water or maybe cream or something like that. But me, I skip the ice. I skip all the frou-frou crap, but I just drink that uh, straight. Although I will say, sometimes I get myself, hold on here, let's see if I can get one. I get a big glass like this in the morning, and I fill it all the way up with that coffee, that cold press, their cold brewed, I should call it. Uh, and as I drink it down through the day, I'll add water to it, and I'll find that one full mug of this over the entire day, diluting it as I go, uh, will, will last me a whole day of uh, coffee. But you're probably getting uh, a hell of a lot of uh, caffeine out of it which is awesome uh, but it, as it dilutes through the day then you know you don't want as much caffeine but anyway so there you go there's a little uh, tutorial on how to cold press or god why I keep saying that cold brew coffee and then just chuck it in the fridge and you're good to go <laughs> anyways uh, I'm running on fumes so <laughs> I think I need some coffee hmm. <laughs> all right take it easy everybody hello there how the heck y'all doing uh, I'm going to make a quick video here uh, showing off how to make cold brewed coffee, which is something I really, really like. Um, it's a lot, lot, lot stronger than regular coffee. Most normal people cut this with like uh, milk or cream or water, uh, unless you are hardcore, like yours truly, and you drink it straight. Uh, but basically, what you do is I get this brand here and for every four 